set it up for you guys. Hang on. Chasm, not Chasmville. All right. <coughs> We're downloading GTA 5, so your Twitch connection is dreadful. Yeah, that'll do it. Have fun though. GTA is quite a fun game. I haven't played it in a while though. Actually, I need to check out all the stuff they've added. But that's not here or there. But let's uh, let's get on with this damn. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to restart the game again just to get the intro so the stream looks nice. So bear with me. Bear with me. Right. I'm going to start my local recording because I don't want that to happen again. Alright. Good afternoon. Hey Flothar, what's up? Wow, you couldn't have timed it any better. <laughs> Alright, hello world. Today we're playing Verticalville. The latest in the long line of build mapping competitions. I shouldn't say latest, I'd just say latest for me streaming. It's certainly not the latest in terms of releases, it's years old now, but here we are. Hey Delano, what's up? Alright, so we've got five maps to play. The theme is... Uh, it's a crazy world we live in, but the theme was to make a vertical map. Don't let that blow your faces off, but it's true. Here we are, we're going to do it. Alright, we're on a lift, we're going up. It's vertical. Oh, damn it. I wasn't quick enough. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I remember this level. Come on, Gordon. Cool. I like the intro. Alright, yeah, I think I remember this level. I think it's a... Uh, I can't remember the author's name now. The one that does all the crazy stuff in his maps. De, De Blasio. To Tony? Tony De Blasio? Is that right? I think. Alright. Yeah, the intro's cool because it gives you a preview of the map to come as you're going up. It, it you know, does some funny stuff as well, it's always good. Then you see Alex at the top, and when the lift falls, you, you know, the player has the objective of, okay, I need to get back to the top to get to Alex. So, it's a nice setup to start the map on. Let's see if, uh, let's see if Tony can uh, keep it together. What's happening here? Dear, that's not good. <laughs> it's kind of funny you see a stalker using a lift. I wonder what floor he's going to. He's gone to like the recreation floor or something. Okay. One thing I'm not so keen on is that we don't have a gravity gun. I mean, unless we pick it up at some point in the level. What?
Yeah, t Tony's name's famous, at, at least in. Uh, I, I talk about his work a lot because it's a really interesting case study in like people's perceptions of how a game should work based on like the original experience, and then how the level designer can completely change that uh, for better or worse. Oh, I just. Oh wait a minute, maybe that's what you're meant to do. Can I like cross here? Look at that. Beautiful. God. Half-life lifts. Pro tip, level designers. Dismount points. They work. Use them. Has he done anything recently? Uh, I'm not sure. I think he... I'm not sure if he's actually done a full release that isn't part of like a competition pack. Well, maybe he has. I'll have to check on, uh, on TSL. Yes, we've got a... Okay, we've got some kind of code we need to find maybe for that. of locked doors. So it's a two-digit code. Maybe it's just 33? Maybe? If this is even a... Do it. Okay, so it's a four digit code. These things are never easy. Yeah, and I, th I think this comes up every time we play a Tony de Blasio map, is that the maps themselves are solidly constructed, like the layout's are interesting, there's generally some cool events that happen, but it's just the way he sets up his props and things that happen in the environment is just a lot of the time completely contrary to how the rest of the game functions with the same props, so it throws players off. A great, a great example is like this crate. Maybe it won't break. Nope. Like this is, <laughs> this is a hallmark of Tony de Blasio's maps. Like crates don't break in his maps. Why? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But they don't. Maybe you can climb up on here. I have no idea what all this machinery is for. Can we pick this up? We can. What? <laughs> I saw he ran into that grenade when I threw it. Okay, so I think when I picked up this crate, the door opened. I think that's what happened. Like, the, picking up this crate triggers the door to open. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Which is just, you know, it's exactly what I'm talking about. The, it's just crazy. Did it. Alright. 
mean, even this wall panel in itself is a bit of a contrivance from Half-Life 2. It's, if I remember correctly, these wall panels were used uh, in Kleiner's... not Kleiner's lab, maybe Elo's lab in Half-Life 2, and I think in White Forest in Episode 2. And you just hit them once and they open, or they give you an error, right? You don't actually need to hit the individual keys. And there's no, like, feedback here that you can do that. You just hit the buttons, you hear a beep, like... Maybe a little uh, a light on each button would help as well. It's one of those things where you see it in a lot, a lot of custom maps, so it makes sense, but for someone that's never played those maps, it might be really weird. Okay, I guess we're not going up. Some green and blue wibbly wobbly things. That's good, I guess. Flashing lights. Oh, wait a minute, we can... Okay. I see it. <coughs> okay, brilliant. Okay, so this is a shortcut. See, this kind of stuff's cool. Like, when you beat the puzzle, always have a shortcut that you can open up. Because having to, like, drop down and get some spies and then redo the whole puzzle again to get back up is just busy work, so... This is what I'm talking about. Like, in terms of layout and kind of general... general, like, thinking about the space and how the player traverses it, this stuff's fine. It's just, like, the just weird weird decisions with like how the world works that really throws me off with his stuff. No, oh, that sounds bad. Where are we? Okay, I'm gonna quick save here because I don't trust these ladders. So am I supposed to Jump. Yep. Um. I'm not sure I can even make that jump. Like, maybe I can it. Like, this is something you shouldn't do, like tiny platforms with little ladders like this, it's really fiddly to actually move around on. Nope. <laughs> oh god. Climb on, Gordon. Shut up, I'm busy. Okay. Yeah, like, I like the idea of the lift shaft, so you can see all the different levels, and it, it gives you, you know, the, the impetus to climb. Come on. Quiet. But yeah, like, these tiny little things to stand on where you can't get any forward momentum belly to jump is, uh, yeah, they need to be bigger. What is this? Great, I can. Let's find out what's up here. If anything. Gate override. I had to throw the picture of the Borealis away because it reminded me too much that episode 3 isn't out yet. 
a sore, it's a sore point. <laughs> Turn this valve. Assume that opens one of the doors in here, maybe. Oh, oh okay. or not. Okay. Going up. Oh god, I'm stuck. Hey Jason, how's it going? You shotgun the combine ball back at the elite. Well, you know. <laughs> totally intentional. these tiny little rooms. We got here spanners. Gordon. It's my name. Aha, we can jump. Okay. Let's do it. Come on, Gordon. Let's go. Did it. <laughs> yeah, so I I quite enjoyed that one. Obviously it's got all the strange um Du Blasio contrivances in it, but as a map it wasn't too bad. Uh, I would have liked some better combat, like it was more more or less just like a couple of enemies at a time here and there. Uh, there weren't really any properly scripted like encounters, uh which hurt the map I think. But some of the puzzles were okay, like some of them were a bit strange, but you know, that's that's just par for the course with his maps. <laughs> but yeah, like the, the actual idea of it, going, uh, just going back to the very beginning of the map, going up the lift, seeing all the different areas, and then being dropped back down to the bottom. It's almost like, you know when you start a lot of third person third person action games like you start at the beginning with like all your gear all your powers unlocked and you just wreck everything and then like you know something happens in the story and that all gets taken away <laughs> that's kind of the same thing in level 4 alright next one we got secret of the coast I should have checked ahead of time the authors of these maps but I can't remember who made this one. I did look the other day, but... Okay, what have we got here? Let me guess, leeches? Yeah. Best tree model ever. This one. Can't wait to see the tree model in uh, Half Life 3. See if they can one up this one. <laughs> oh, what up, dudes? We've got a battery. We've got a battery. This looks important. Ah. It's just a little thing, but the default for doors in Half-Life 2 is to have them auto-close after, I, th I think it's like 10 seconds or something. Which really bugs me. <laughs> I think it should always be the player's choice when they when they want to use an item in the environment in 
having it reset is kind of taking away the player's influence on the world. Even something as simple as having a door closed by itself uh, hurts. Hurts the map, I think. That's just my personal opinion. There are, there are certain technical cases where you want a door to close, like for optimization and stuff like that. But there, I think, uh, I think it's in 99% of cases you just want the player to control the state of like doors and things like that. Right, let's bring this battery with us because I have a sneaky suspicion that it's going to be useful. So, well, I can't pick it up anymore, so I assume it's meant to go in that little slot. Yeah, close enough. Where did I, where was the crowbar? Alright. Well, that's cool. Hmm. Do a little I can get up. This this is the true custom gamer test where I just completely screw up the map and break everything. <laughs> Could possibly be happening here. Wow. Missed. Oh. Oh, there's a ladder. I can't remember which map it bought was. There was a ladder with like a, a physicalized prop of a ladder that you could pick up the gravity gun and like attach it to things. And it would like snap into place and you could climb it. And then you can like pick it up again with the gravity gun and move the single ladder around to give you access to different areas. I really can't remember what map it was, but that was a really cool idea. Uh, can I jump this? Yes. In fact, ha! Huh, look at this! <laughs> Maybe this was the map I'm thinking of. <laughs> well, okay. Heyo. Let's put you there for a second. Oh, I need to go around. I don't think I can get back. Oh, maybe I can. Maybe I can. How do I choose which which, uh, which vill to play? Yeah, it's it's chronological. We're going in in order of release. There we go. Yeah, so it's cool ha having the the holes in the wall like evenly spaced like that is a, a great way to show the player that something attaches there, and then they can kind of put two and two together by seeing the ladder down in the water. I like it. Did you just? Yes, you did. Oh, hang on. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying this map. It's got some good ideas in it. It's going to be a long time till I see someone play my entries again. Yeah. Holy, okay. Have a table. Have a box. Have a cup of tea. Another cup of tea. Oh my god, please, just die. Alright. What's up? In the bucket. Oh my god, what are you made of? Alright. 
Yeah, I'd completely forgotten just how many Vill releases there were. Uh, when I was originally talking with Philip about this idea, uh, I said like one a month. How long could that take? And he's like, it'll probably keep you busy for about two years. <laughs> I was like, right, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's, uh Got him. This is where I find out I've got oh I have got a pistol. <laughs> This is why you let the player pick up all their stuff at the start of the map, so that they know what they've got. And I'll keep saying it until the day I die, damn it. It's all about the agency. That's why I hate it when doors close. That's why I hate it when you magically have stuff at the beginning of a mission. Oh, we turned off a force field, okay. So yeah, there's a force field there. I did not know that. Alright. Yeah, having just single combined soldiers in each room is uh, perhaps a mistake. Like. I think uh, perhaps a better idea would have been have one combined soldier in the corridor here before you exit and then have a whole squad out here, put some more cover objects down and have a proper fight with uh, you know, three or four combined soldiers because just killing them one at a time like that is just not much fun at all. I think the placement of this could have been better, like for example I... Oh, I didn't even know it was there, so... When I found the button to turn it off, I didn't really feel like I'd solved a puzzle. I just felt like I, you know, just randomly stumbled across a, a solution for something, so... I mean, the player comes up from the cliff here and looks this way, so perhaps it would have been better to have the force field, like, right here. Or even right here instead of this fence and block this area off instead I think that probably would have been better because then the player would have seen the force field instantly and said right now do we turn that off probably don't want to fall down there hey Mr. Eddie what's up yeah, the combine didn't move, which was, yeah, a bit odd. Okay, what's next? How did I know that was going to happen? <laughs> Can we? Okay, never mind. Yes, we've got some kind of pulley system over there. Right. Ah. I like the really the reuse of the ladder that we did before. Would have been quite nice to have to attach this one as well. Might have it, have it laying on a rock nearby or something. What have we got here? 
bridge? Yes. How's this work then? Ah, do we need to weigh it down with something? Uh, let's see. Ah, some conveniently placed. <laughs> yes, wheels. Come on, you can do it. I feel like Luke trying to grab his lightsaber from the snow. <laughs> Alright. Let's make sure we're standing on the other cart this time. Begs the question, what happens if you screw up three times and run out of tyres? Alright, there we go. see a nice vista of the entire map from the top, which is excellent. Looks like you could drop down here and get out of bounds perhaps. Not gonna try it, but there hasn't really been any supply caches, like I have no suit energy, eighty two health. Would have been nice to find like, there's plenty of opportunities where you get above parts of the map you've been before. So like, there could have been some supplies on the roof of these houses and stuff like that which you couldn't see from down below. Alright, what is going on? Force fields to turn off, unless we just jump around the side. It's probably clipped, right? Yeah, it's clipped. <laughs> Why not just have the wall go across instead of putting a clip brush here? That makes no sense. Alright. I do like this area though, it's cool. Got the sunlight creeping in from the top. It's great. Alright, I predict something bad's gonna happen, so let's quick save. Yeah, you got all the lovely, like, orange sun reflections on the combine materials. That's always cool to see. Oh. I knew it!
Can I just jump down? Where are they? I have no idea where they've gone. Alright, I guess we can just jump down here. Oh, no we can't. There's, there's a clip rush. Okay. So what did I miss? Okay, that button. Huh. Can I just jump off here? Yes, I can. Yeah, I wasn't quite sure because there's all these weird clip brushes here. I wasn't actually sure if I could uh, jump off there or not. Run. button around here I have to press or something? No? Ah! Warning, do not block meta stream. Well. No promises. Oh. That did not work, did it? What else can I use to block it? Oh, wait a minute, those combine panels over here. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Hey, Philip. Okay, let's see if this works. Did it. Get out of there. Time to leave, probably. We do that. A ladder or something. Oh no, stairs, okay. Okay. How? God, another shotgun. Wow. It's awkward here because there's absolutely no cover, so the combine just wreck you. What? Wait. Okay, that's odd. <laughs> Let's try that one again. Yeah, that was unfortunate. I mean... It's a cool premise, go down, break the machine and get out. Just the lack of cover really hurts it, especially against Combine. I have one shotgun shell. Which I'm going to save. Cheeky. <laughs> All right. That doesn't look good. Don't kill me, please. Okay. Really? Oh, 
Oh yeah, guns, guns, guns. Alright. this this way wow <laughs> so is that just like am I waiting for oh, I'm probably waiting for this lift to come down aren't I Reload the damn gun. That was rough, but You've fun. You've done a great deal in a small time span. That's why I must now extract some small repayment owed for your own survival. Yeah, uh, okay. <clears throat> uh, I like that one quite a lot, actually. Had a lot of good ideas in it. I just think some some of them are like one hit wonders, right? Like the um uh, uh, uh the ladder which you could attach to the wall and then climb. It's a great mechanic. Could have been used a lot more in this map, like in more interesting situations, like for example, attaching it to the wall, climbing up, removing it, attaching it to another wall to climb up there as well. Like, you know, creating little puzzles like that, like movement movement puzzles where you need an object to help you out. Uh, that kind of stuff's really interesting. I would have liked to see the ladder mechanic used more. Um, the other thing that stands out is just that final area. Uh, I wasn't too fond of the bit at the bottom because there was just no cover. You just got wrecked. Um, the end part where you're waiting for the lift to come down, it was tough. But because you had that giant line of sight blocker in the centre, you could just kind of play around that. Uh, yeah, it was it was certainly tough though, but... Fun. I enjoyed that one. Cool. Alright, next up we got ventilation. Sabotage auxiliary power core. Alright. Wonder if you can make that standard so these uh, upgraded, what do you call them, suit energy things. I wonder if you can just get the standard ones which give you a normal amount of energy but just make them really fast like that because God, it's dull playing Half-Life maps just staring at this thing and holding the E button all the time. Okay. Oh. Well, you know what, I think I remember this map vaguely. Yeah. 
of stuff like this. Can we do this? Ah. Wait, can't you can't you jump and it it sends you upwards now? Is that right? No, apparently not. Uh, what else? This. To open a door, vandalize the power. That's right, buttons are so like 1970s. Let's, <laughs> let's do something more interesting. Oh, wait, do you have to like jump off the edge to get the boost? Yeah, you do. That's a shame. It just felt na natural to just jump in here. I mean, it's an, it's an energy bridge, you know? I just figured it would just let the air through. Alright, let's go. Upwards. Make it over there. Guess there's no other way to go, so yeah. Okay, that was... Screwed that one up. Oh, I actually ended up lower than <laughs> when we started. Oh dear. This can only end one way. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Will it blend? <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, let's see. This is looks like the only one that stands out, but I, I just don't know if I can make it there. <gasps> oh, okay, I can. It's a bit awkward here because you're trying to get a run up to jump. But the the fan is trying to push you off the ground, so it makes actually making the jumps a lot more difficult than it should be. Like for example, I just tried to jump there, but it didn't work because I got pushed off the ground by the fan. Who's next? You are. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Which side do you want to go for? This side. Please. Okay. I'll have to go to the other side anyway. <laughs> I think from this side we can get a running jump and I guess get pushed all the way up there. Hopefully. I feel like I'm only going upwards because I'm backpedaling against the uh, against the floor. <laughs> Not quite sure if this is how it's going to work. I'll take it. Oh, 
Oh jeez. Probably don't want to fall into that fan. He says as he falls into Oh wait, no, we're going up again. What's happening? I'm in limbo. Oh my god. I just want to go downwards. I don't think that's too much to ask. Uh, can we like turn this fan off or something? Oh, we're going down. Oh, rip. So I can land on... Oh, look, there's a panel down there. How are you supposed to get down? Okay, that happened. Alright. So... Oh, anyway, which one did I... I just noticed the numbers on the bottom, but I can't remember the number of the shaft I came up. Was it six? I'd have to go down seven. Oh, I see. So what do these lights mean? Okay, so eight is pushing up and the light is at the bottom. Six is pushing up and the light is in the middle. Is this the intensity of the, uh, the bands, maybe? So I want seven on the lowest, I guess. Okay, I'm just guessing that that's correct, because I don't actually know. Oh, I screwed that up. <laughs> Try again. Alright, so I'm assuming I'm going here. Let's find out if that's correct. Yep. Well, that's cool. some more panels off the walls. Where are all these 
these people coming from? Panels we can rip off. So, <laughs> I guess we're going this way. Okay. Oh god. Uh, it's gonna float in midair. Serious? Are you serious? Oh, going up? No. Here we go. <laughs> That's how we roll. That's a crouching tiger and dragon shit right there. Yeah, that was pretty cool. from the damage, yeah. Totally, totally intentional. I knew that was going to happen, so I planned accordingly. Yep. <laughs> hmm. I get the feeling I'm meant to do something here to progress, but I have no idea what it is. Okay. 
That's the only thing that stands out like I need to throw something into there to destroy it or something. But the only thing I can find to throw are bodies. They don't seem to work, so I'm not sure. Maybe I'm done here and I can leave? I don't know, let's have a look. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm kind of confused. I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing now. You know, I've got any ideas? I don't want to run around in circles forever. <laughs> well, these doors are still locked. Ridiculously powerful this gun is. No other guns. It keeps giving me combined soldiers, so. I feel like I'm supposed to do something with their bodies, but... I have no idea. Throw them at the centre of the core. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It's not going so well. Green shake. <clears throat> I don't know if it was timed. <sighs> yeah, there's a there's a real lack of feedback there on what you're supposed to do. Like, was it just a timer, or is it 
because I was throwing bodies into the core, and then like when it started pulsing, I just thought I need to throw more bodies into it because it's done something. And then when it killed me, I was really confused. <laughs> There's a power thing there that I didn't notice before. It's two actually. So if I have to. Oh, well. Well, okay. That explains that then. makes a bit more sense. <laughs> this is nice. Yeah, I don't know what triggered it before. Maybe the bodies did a small amount of damage to the core, but the energy balls do a lot more, it seems. So yeah, I'm um, so the problem was I didn't notice the energy balls, uh, which you know made the entire thing make no sense. Uh, I think probably the obvious solution to that is to have them large on the screen as you come into the uh, come into the area from the door. Have them closer to the player so that they spot them, like, and have them at ground level as well. Like, as as it was, you enter the room and they're kind of on the back walls above the player kind of small in the distance, they don't stick out too well. But yeah, as soon as I spotted them I knew what I had to do and the whole thing made sense, so it's just a case of making sure the player spots the uh, important objects, which I certainly did not do on the first time. Alright, so that was ventilation. That, that was kind of cool, uh, yeah, certainly very vertical. Um, I thought some of the platforming was a little bit annoying just because of the fact that it takes so long to jump then you have to like aim yourself and wait to go down and then do it again and again. Like if it, if it had been a bit more speedy uh, I think it would have been better but as it stands yeah good I enjoyed that one. <laughs> Vertizontal is the next one. Alright, the final mission of Half-Life is here guys, all, it's all come down to this, gotta get some milk. Let's do it. We get in the car, <laughs> that'd be funny. If we jump out of there, we're going to die. Probably. Oh wait, we can probably rest on the, uh, the road piece there, maybe. Get out of it. Why can't I jump out of here? Is there something wrong? Am I not supposed to go this way? What's happening? There's like clip brushes everywhere, I can't move.
How do you? Oh God! Help! <laughs> Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. <laughs> oh, the milk was bad indeed. What a trip. There's, there's totally a way you can use that to speed run the map. I'm sure you can like get out of the car at the exact time so that you fall and land on a ledge or something. Speed run a pro strats. Okay, let's not go that way this time. Let's go this way. Beautiful. Oh, so good. Where are we going now? Oh, this one's gonna hurt a bit, I think. Yep. Major fracture detected. Automatic medical systems engaged. Oh, no great windows. Brilliant. I'm liking this map. I'm liking it. There's some health somewhere. How can there be zombies in a sideways map? See any health? the challenge you have to get to the end without dying from full damage <coughs> oh, oh got a bit of vertigo from that one what is that oh it's the horse statue it looked like a, a vortigaunt or something for a moment got really confused Whoa! <laughs> now that the entire stream has just puked, <laughs> we can continue. Hmm. Wait, elf! I got a gravity gun. No. Okay, I've got twenty-three health. I'm gonna have to drop down to that yellow car. I think. Maybe get to the, uh, okay, perfect. Don't oh, die, please. Oh. Yeah, baby, that's right. I <laughs> love it. 
Oh, this map's really well done, actually. Yeah, it's cool. Such a simple concept, just like fall to the bottom without dying, but it's because of the whole, uh, just the visual way it's set up, it makes it so much more interesting. Uh oh. Can I jump back up? Okay. Can we use the horse somehow? Okay, okay we're going to use the horse. Oh, this could be bad. <laughs> Damn it. Let's try a different route this time. Okay, this route's probably bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Gotta get to the store, I can taste that milk, need it. Oh god. Imagine someone tuning into the stream right now is like, what the fuck? <laughs> then proceed to hurl all over the monitor. Okay. Oh, don't, don't do that to me, please. Ah! Oh, please no! That's amazing! Oh, I love it. So it's like a time thing. Yeah, cool. The dream is collapsing, boys. Okay, um. Yeah, this side's much easier. Do this. so weird, you, your brain starts really getting used to it after a while, because at the very start I was kind of staying right near the quote-unquote ground here, it just felt normal to do that, but as soon as you realise you've got all this uh, vertical space you can use as well to like jump around, it's, yeah, it's, it's really cool. Alright. Oh boy, yeah, I screwed that one up big time. Let's try not to rush it so much. Ah! <laughs> not quite fast enough, apparently. Okay. Uh. Please don't kill me. Excellent. <laughs> yes. Okay, Philip, that's the that's the screenshot you have to use for the uh for the uh the post on Run Think Shoot Live. 
Like, no choice. <laughs> That was great. <laughs> yeah. That's a perfect example of a really simple piece of gameplay which would probably be fairly boring. Otherwise, just uh, completely turned around for just uh, some creative thinking with the visual layout of the map. And the, the falling cars at the end, that was fantastic. Perhaps a little bit on the tough side, because it was kind of annoying having to restart multiple times to get it right. Uh, certainly got your blood pumping. We looked up and see all the cars you've just been standing on starting to fall off the world towards you. That's Yeah, that was really good. <coughs> Go back and do the car again. Give the car one more shot. Give the car another shot. I feel like... I feel like there is a speedrun route through this map. We can find it. I'm going to do a quick save after this cutscene so I have to watch it every damn time. Alright, where's the damn car? Okay, wait for it. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> That's not the one, is it? Okay. Oh, okay. Fail. Who's the man? <laughs> Who's the man? <laughs> Ah, oh, best time! <laughs> Look at that. Okay, anyone can do better than that. Get it in video format, upload to YouTube. It's a competition. <laughs> The glove has been thrown. <laughs> Alright, let's do the final map. Entry 5 is called Zip Line. Okay. Oh, it's by Mr. Uh, Mr. Wizard X, aka. Oh my god. Why is his name? Just. David. David, David, David Lundvall, I think. He did uh, Spherical Nightmares. Alright. Let's see what we've got here. Got a vent. Yo, oh, what up, bro? Get up there. Events for. Aha. Uh -huh. Hit the crates. Please. Beautiful.
Oh yes, that's right. Oh, excuse my tardiness. We do have some copies of Infra to give away. I completely forgot to mention that. Yes, so hang out after the stream. I forget how many copies we've got. It's 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 more than one. Might even be two. Infra, if you're not sure, you can look it up on Steam. It is a source engine, I guess, exploration, like urban exploration simulator. Um, if you're into like abandoned industrial facilities and like infrastructure, then you'll definitely like Infra. Uh, I need to finish playing it actually. I was I was streaming it about a month ago. Didn't actually finish it though. It's nice. Attention, please. All citizens in local residential blocks assume your inspection position. Getting like a dishonored vibe from this map. I don't know what it is. I think it's just like all the like dirty brick buildings with like all the the uh, guttering and stuff like that. Attention, just the vertical nature of it. This block contains Fight you just yet. Not with my crowbar. Citizen noted. Failure to cooperate will result in permanent off world relocation. Failure to relocate and in permanent off world relocation. Attention. Doesn't that sound wonderful? All citizens in local residential blocks assume your inspection position. <laughs> Noted. Priority identification check in progress. Please assemble in your designated inspection position. Going up. Oh, there's more. Uh, have a grenade. Did it work? Okay. Ah, the so called zip lines. Nice. Uh, that was a great grenade. Well done, Bill. Bill, the new recruit, completely screwed that up, didn't he? guys do know in one leaked Half-Life B file there is a zipline.cpp yeah. I stopped reading all that Half-Life 3 crap because it's just pointless now. Guys I saw a graphic of some guy's arm. Half-Life 3 confirmed oh my god. Ah. So tired of it now. Make the game or don't just stop messing around Valve come on. Need a crate. Give me a crate, someone. Here we go. What? <laughs> that popped 
popped his head around the corner and was like, ah, a man with a shotgun, I'm going to go the other way. Oh, this should have broke when I landed on... How do you know I was there? That like magic. That's a grenade. Generator? Going up? I feel like we're about to fight gunship. The chopper, whatever you want to call it. Come on! <laughs> oh, if only I had a gravity gun. Oh, god damn it. That sucks so bad. Oh. Fuck you, Mr. Sniper. Ah, get out of the way! Another grenade. Stop moving. It's like they want to live or something.
That didn't quite work, did it? We did it! That final fight was quite something. <laughs> Can't believe I died a couple of feet away from that health kit. <laughs> Classic. I kind of felt like the sniper was just following me like, oh, just wait a little bit more, a little bit more. There, get him. <laughs> oh, that was the last map. Okay. <clears throat> so in conclusion then, um, I thought the zip line, although you were traveling upwards, like I think the other maps uh, kind of nailed the theme better. Although Zipline, I think, had the best uh, combat, for sure. Like, it had the most interesting encounters. Uh, it didn't do as much with the theme as the other maps did. Um, okay, yeah, so, yeah, Gordon's Ups and Downs, great way to intro a map. Like, going up on the lift, seeing the whole map being dropped down again. And then having to work out, I had to get back up. That was cool. Uh, Secret of the Coast. Nice Vista environment. Some cool puzzles, like with the ladder attaching uh, to the wall. I would, really would have loved to see more of that being used. But as it stands, it was just a solid map, I think. The combat was a bit dodgy in most places. And that force, combine force field had to be moved so the player sees it before he finds the button. Uh, ventilation. Excellent theming, looked gorgeous, uh, some of the platforming took too long and the ending fight again just needs to bring the combined ball things closer to the player when they walk in the room so they spot them. Verizontal gets <laughs> top marks for just batshit craziness. Um, the challenge stands and Zipline was just a, a solid map honestly, just a solid Half-Life 2 map. Like, the the theme didn't overwhelm the gameplay, which I think it did in some of the other maps. Oh yeah, so now let's give away these copies of Infra. So, Philip has posted the info in the chat. Let's see here. Oh no, sorry, you were talking about the maps, yeah. <laughs> ventilation is the winner. I was torn between Ventilation and Verizontal. Ventilation. Okay, yeah. It's certainly the most vertical. <laughs> if I had to pick a winner... Hmm. God, it's quite tough, actually. I think I'd probably go with Verizontal. I just really enjoyed that map. I mean, it, it's a bit of a gimmick, yes, but it did it extremely well. It was uh, it was fun to play. It was an interesting puzzle with some cool scripted parts in it. So I would have, definitely have to go Verizontal. Okay, so let's give away some copies of Infra. Uh, let's see here. Half-Life 3 Ville. <laughs> so have you... Do you want to email me some questions to ask the stream, Philip? Or how do you want to do this? Do you want to ask them in chat? Okay, here we go. Yeah. So the question is, what is your char what it job is your character in Infra? Ah, oh, congrats, Delano.
Question number two incoming. What piece of equipment do you have in infra? I'm not sure why I'm reading the questions because the stream's on like a 30 second delay. <laughs> I guess I guess just for the, the people watching the VODs are perhaps wondering. Congrats, DJ Replica. The answer was a camera, by the way. You have to photograph all the all the uh, like cracks in the, the structures and stuff like that. All right. So, uh, Philip, you're going to give the cut. Okay. Yep. Excellent. I didn't have to do anything. Brilliant. <laughs> So yeah, congrats DJ Replica, congrats Delana. Uh Enjoy it. I um, I need to finish it, but I had fun with what I saw. Certainly, if just if you just enjoy urban exploration, abandoned places and stuff like that, you'll get a kick out of it, I'm sure. Des has a day off. That's right. That's right. Give it, giving giving free stuff to people is really hard, you know. <laughs> And yes, Philip brings up a good point. Thank you very much to uh, Aaron from steamcontest.com for giving us all the stuff we give away on every Run, Think, Shoot, Live live stream, I think. Uh, they're always giving Philip codes for all kinds of different things. So yeah, thank you very much. All right. I think that is everything. I'm going to sign off. Thank you everyone for tuning in. Uh, I'll make sure I do have a local recording this time, so if the saved broadcast does magically disappear from Twitch, I will keep the local broadcast around so that we don't lose the stream again. Alright. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, as always, you can visit runthingshootlive.com to find all your Half-Life and Half-Life 2 uh, levels, as always. As for me, uh, my YouTube channel has been barren for like over a month, I do apologise for that. I've just been busy with work and life and XCOM 2 mostly. <laughs> XCOM 2, XCOM 2 modding and Bloodborne. Yeah, it's just taken all my free time. Uh, hopefully I'll get some more videos out soon. Uh, I'll put the VOD... Uh, no, I won't. That's going to go on, run things you live. But yeah, anyway, I will hopefully get some content up on there soon. I'm way behind on everything. But yeah, that's me. Thank you very much, and uh, I will see you next time.